Hello everyone, my name is Khaled Armel and my pronouns are he, his, and I am a web and application developer at Harvard Chin School of Public Health. And today I want to share with you a few tips and tricks that I often uh, tap into when trying to find root accessibility issues on a web page, or maybe when trying to pin down the root cause of an accessibility issue. Uh, so for the purpose of making this useful to as many people as possible, I'll try to focus on the high-level issues and stick with Google Chrome as my web agent. And so if you have to do any testing in the past, chances are you already know a few of these tips and tricks. But uh, my hope is to be able to provide you with a few more so you can add under your belt. So in this presentation, I want to cover the following. I want to talk about color contrast and how you can use Chrome DevTools to uh, find color contrast issues and maybe find solutions to them. I want to also talk about accessibility in the accessibility pen and how you could, using it, uh, get a better sense uh, of how your web page looks like for uh, assistive technologies such as uh, screen readers. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about Lighthouse and how you can use it uh, within Chrome DevTools to generate a web accessibility report about a page. Okay, let's take a look at color contrast. And uh, for that, I'm going to use Google Store uh, to examine some of these uh, accessibility issues just because I think they have a few interesting examples. Uh, so this is the their home page, right? And I guess let's start with an easy use case so there is this text for example so you could just right click you don't have to select anything you could just right click and inspect it and then find the color here for own styles one thing you could do also go to compute it and in filter search for a color and click on the color there and it will bring you I'll show you where this color is in the styles menu uh, you click on that color and it shows you the contrast ratio and here it has double checks uh, it tells you that it passes the uh, WCAG AA and AAA requirements so that is good and it shows you here that the background color is white you can also change that by picking the background color you want so say for example that background color was not accurate so you could change it to this and it will update your contrast ratio based on that so let's change it to something like this show you how it doesn't pass the tag requirements here um, all right bring it back to white so that's the color contrast and say if the color was not uh, passing the test when you expand the color contrast window here, you can see those two curves that correspond to look at double A and triple A requirements, and you can play with the color here a little bit to see what color would pass what of the requirements. So knowing, for example, that you want to change your text color to this color, uh, you could remember this color, save it, and actually looking at your style here you could tell what style sheet this is coming from and just go fix it there so that is helpful all right let's look at another example and actually for this I'm gonna go to pixel 5 page and here I think they have a few interesting examples uh, so if you inspect this one you notice how there is no contrast information and this is simply because uh, the tool was not able to detect the background color and this is mostly due to the use of some JavaScript to like manipulate the background color so looking at this text for example here similar story find a color no background color Again, because this text can be changed, uh, the background color here can be changed. So what I do in some of these cases, I will just uh, use like an external 
the uh, color contrast checker like with A and just insert my foreground background colors here and I'll give you a ratio. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately this tool doesn't work on every single case but I have to say it does work on most of the cases in most places and um, I, it, most of the times it will be able to detect the background colors so it, it is very useful and helpful. Alright. Now let's talk about the accessibility pane. Um, so the accessibility pane, okay, you can find it here. You click on those two arrows on accessibility, and then this is where you can view uh, the accessibility tree, which is uh, accessibility-related information for most your, of your HTML elements. You can also find information about ARIA attributes, and you can also find your computed accessibility uh, properties of DOM nodes. So let's say for example we want to take uh, this text right here, inspect it, click on that node, and it'll tell you here in the accessibility tree what is what text if the, the your browser is reading and what well, what is the hierarchy where it's coming from. Uh, this this node, for example, does not have any ARIA attributes, so it's good. Uh, let's take another example. So let's click on this button here, inspect it, and see how like it has ARIA attributes here. It has a role of button, and it has an ARIA label of learn more about device peace of mind. Uh, also, you can see the same information here in computer properties. Uh, another uh, nice thing about this tool here that it gives you the uh, precedence order of uh, different properties of any item or of any node. So, say for example, title was set to something completely different, right? To something like click here. Uh, then uh, ARIA label will override that because it has a higher precedence order. Similarly, if ARIA labels were set, it would override that. So that is also very helpful. And uh, let's see. All right, I guess I, we can finish up talking about Lighthouse. And Lighthouse is it's this panel right here. And you can find it uh, in your DevTools. And using it, you can generate a report about your web accessibility or all, honestly about other stuff like performance. Uh, PWA, best practices, ECO, and you can simulate different devices. So if I select mobile accessibility and hit generate report, I will do some checking and testing and it will give you some sort of a nice report you can share. Um, so yeah, honestly, I'm going to keep this one short and that was it. Uh, that's all the uh, tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you, everyone. Thank you for listening. Bye.